Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I will read a few poems now. And the first one is in Czech, and it's from Veronika Dostalova. Spívá dnes celá země, spívá obloha, že obzor nelítostí tmavne, kde slunce denodenně vstává a prozařuje pláně dálné, dnes rozbřesku se nedostává. Tak země prosí milost od Boha, tak země zpívá do vysoka v dálky, že chci zas vidět na těch smích a zažehnat nebezpečí války. Nebude mlčet, komu pozvednou hlas není líno. V, mod, v modlitbách i v písních svých jsme s tebou, Ukrajino. This one is from Kate Damsworth. Cold, bold, or so they've been told. Loud, proud, standing together in crowds, chins raised up high, piercing eyes facing sky. War of the past fought for at last. Their story need to be heard, every heartbreaking word. Souls lost, but not forgotten, in spite of spirits downtrodden. Listen to their tears, no longer hidden by fears. It's time the world knows how a sunflower soul grows. This one is uh, from Sarah Jane Hull. There's no school tomorrow and my heart is full of sorrow. Pack a bag, my darling. I know it must be frightening Put a big coat on. Hurry now, we've not got long. Chin up, my love. Be brave and strong. Pack a bag, darling. Take one teddy bear. I know that you're hungry. I've packed some food to share. Wear your walking shoes. Don't forget your hat. No, I'm sorry, darling. There's no time to find the cat. Don't give daddy, daddy kisses, daddy staying behind. I hope that on our journey, new friends we will find. Now listen closely, my child, and try to understand. You must stay close to mama and tightly hold my hand. Have you packed a bag, my darling? It's time for us to leave. And now I would like to uh, share one of my poems as well. Dear Ukraine, I don't understand politics. I don't understand war. But I know when you're crying, the whole world is touched and trying to help you. It's beyond me how one man is able to hate you so much he's willing to kill with a good feeling in his gut to the hell with his trucks. Is this what defines the humankind? Ain't we supposed to live in the, instead of trying to survive? We don't want young kids to hide in the bomb shelters afraid of what might come. One ego armored in oblivious state of mind. Creature with a name I cannot say even if I try. We don't want him to ruin any of your life. To take away last bits of love you have left making you not afraid of the horror stories because thanks to him, you are in one right now. I'm scared of not giving you a helping hand, of not making a public stand because people deserve to be equal, because you deserve to live freely with your friends and family, all together with hope and letters from those who actually matters to you, with prosperity, safety, and with music being the only loud noise. Thank you. Okay, hi. <laughs> 
back here again <laughs> to read uh, more of uh, the beautiful submissions from people. And this one is from Tatiana P. When they sell their souls to the shadow and move to the gloomy house on the other side, only then can they press, sorry, <laughs> only then can they press death buttons out of hatred and break windows overlooking the budding hope. Darkness haunts souls smaller than the eye of a needle. She needs the weak who lost the war against their demons. She can only act upon the hopeless. She doesn't have her own hands. Hence, she needs theirs to take the deadly sword of hate. She preys on those who will spread the illusion just so she can spill in her web. She can't speak on her own. She waits with bated breath to see how they lose their battles and raise the white flag. This one is called Ink For You by Marie. My feet may have not walked your land. My nose may have not breathed your air. My tears may have not burned as hot as yours, but my heart is shattered all the same. My pen is feeling your pain, shedding and inking on the paper pillows. And if your dreams decide to leave, if your hands knows nothing but the fist, if your eyes cannot forget the wreck, if your hope withers away, I pray time will keep them in a box. Because you will learn to dream again, seek chance, high five, and burn for hope. And I will hope with you, dream with you, live with you, stand with you. My strength lies here. May these words keep you going. This one uh, is called From Afar I See You uh, by Jose Rodolfo Hernandez. I see you singing my daughter's favorite song. I wish one day we can sing along. I see your children learning from bomb shelters on the ground. I wish they'd be here with my daughters in a playground. I see you struggling to survive while the whole world deals with COVID that's still alive. I see you say goodbye to your family. When I wish you weren't going through any of this agony, I see the pain in your eyes while you ask for help. I wish our country could do more instead of tightening our belt. I wish everyone could see you like you want to be seen because you are closer to me than I am to this screen. This one is called Silent Tears by Lana R. Dealey. Silent tears of rage, utility and grief wash over my face as news alert after news alert mark the start of the latest war made by men thirsty for power and have others to shed the blood. Me, a woman, momentarily safe, imagining the fresh hell of a death and destruction of the children of mothers who are surely weeping too, who have wept through every age, every stage of humanity. Find feeling of helplessness, push out all else, because humans do not learn. War is the answer, when the power and money are the prizes most desired. For so few leaders, little else seems important. Some magical day when tears shed by women grieving, countless babies destroyed by war, fill oceans until they flood over the nations, drowning any other effort but survival. Maybe then wars will stop. And I have last one, and this is uh, one that I have written. One night can change it all. One night has started a war. 
Why one night with zero sense of empathy, only hell? One light can make us all share what we have and even more. One light can make you see. We want you all to be free. Thank you. Okay. Um, here's a poem. It's in Czech and it's from Marek Vojtěch Řezenka. Na děti myslím a na jejich matky, když místo včelek bzučí roje střel. Na život myslím, jak je krutě krátký, na silný dům, jenž pohled obestřel. Je mi tak smutno pokaždé, když kde si dále či blíže salvy strašné zní. Ty dětské oči ve spánku mě děsí, žalují válku, vyplašené zní. Proč k prvním krůčkům výbuchy jim duní? Kam se jen ztratil bezstarostný smích? Proč nejde hrát si v písku na výsluní? A hltat příběh obrázkových knih? Válka je sání, která... Válka je sání, která oheň sopí, soptí a která spálí v temné noře sen. Válka je zrůdná, zanechává otisk. Ten, koho potká, bude otřesen. Nenávist hoří v krbu místo dřeva a plamen zkázy stoupá výš a výš. Ať místo jedu láska se zazvlévá do žil a srdcí. Ať je opět blíž. Ať brzy strosek nová stavba stane a v dětských očích objeví se jas. Modlím se za mír, za nás všechny, pane. Dej dětem šanci svojí vírou v nás. actually realized that I have another poem in Czech that I have written so I can um, like perform it to you as well. I já musím říct tato slova, protože i z nás může být vdovec nebo vdova v žiku oka a nadávat si vzájemně to, jak z deště pod okap, když víme, že naděje může vycházet přímo z nás. Před pár týdny se po celé Evropě zastavil čas po zprávě složené z pár vět. Rusko útočí, Ukrajina je zpět ve válce. Jak různý to svět, kdy dokážeme sledovat padající bomby lépe než padající hvězdy. Svět, kde koupeme se velži, která je obalena pravdou. Svět, ve kterém si navzájem jen blbci vládnou. Vždyť Během pár dnů jsme přišli ze stresu, jak zaplatit energie a nájem do třetí světový. Ne, dík, nemám zájem. Mám strach. Ale i Ukrajinec je můj brach. A nemíním sledovat, jak se jim si pestát. Vlnu solidarity zvedá hlavně vzpomínka na rodiče a na to, jak babi a děda. A fakt mi to nedá, že ač je to kliše, musím to zmínit, že bez zvonění klíčem, abychom dnes nemohli říct nic ani řídit, jen přikývnout a popravdě se tajně pídit. Jsem generace, která to zná jen z učebnic, kde historie byla jen cárem papíru a příběhem z naučných knih. Ale ruský tanky ty vzbuzují jiný strachy, tak když se obejmeme, dáme, co máme, budeme víc. A na závěr chci jen říct, že než začnete tleskat nebo řvát z plných plic, obejměte i Rusy, kteří nemohou začinit druhých ač ze stejného státu, se stejnými prohy, měli bychom chápat, že činy státu a činy obyčejného bracha nutno rozlišovat. V tom bychom rozhodně neměli tápat. Děkuju. <tějí>